Closet space, okay, so this is really funny. It's a hot topic, this closet space. It would be nice to use the word divvy. I think it was more like, how did she dominate my closet space? When we first moved in, I understood that she was gonna have most of the closet space. I had no extra room in my closet to share with my husband. I had three drawers and a quarter of a closet. When we moved in, it was a pretty much free-for-all. Whoever got the most closet space was the one that put their stuff in there quicker. Drawers were, were more what I took up most of. So when the closet came, she hung up a bunch of stuff, and that was fine. Then she needed my drawer space. So he got the coat closet, I emptied out a drawer, and he got to have the drawer. Then I had to actually like throw away t-shirts, and that's heartbreaking as it is. So I took it upon myself and um, helped him <laughs> take out the shirts. I think it went well. I think it went well. <laughs> I don't know from his perspective. But then she keeps buying clothes and I don't know where they're gonna go. I've told her that if it gets to a certain point where there's too many clothes, then she can sleep on the floor and the clothes will take her space in the bed. We have too much stuff for the small space. I think we just need a bigger space. We don't necessarily need to get rid of anything. Of course I would have wanted more, but it didn't really matter to me because I had an, enough clothes. I'm very low maintenance. If I had to give advice to someone who is about to move in together as a couple for the first time. Understand each person's personal space, and even if it's closet space, it sounds like a small thing, but make sure that the other person has enough room too. I would say talk about how much stuff you have before you move in. You never really know how much clothes or shoes or action figures you have until they're all in your space. I have a lot of shoes. He has a lot of action figures. 